hi, it's Sasha from the museum again. This is, Hello. and we've got AJ on the camera. Thanks AJ. So today we're gonna to be making a self portrait using Play-Doh, Play-Doh that hasn't got any salt in it because we're outdoors. And we are inspired by this painting from the museum. It's called Old Pa. And it's a, a portrait of a man with a beard. He looks like he's asleep. I wonder if he's dreaming, Arlo. Um, a, a knight swordy. He's dreaming about being a knight with a sword, just like this one. Um, no, we have to have his helmet. Oh, he's gonna have his helmet. He looks like he's got some sort of hat on, actually, doesn't he? The only, um, the only clues we've got about this painting are there's some words around the top and the bottom in gold lettering, and then there's this note that seems to be pinned above what? him. Oh. And in the, the note, you can see some of the words can be made no. out. It says his name and the date. It looks like 1635. And it says old, old, very old man. And then further down, it says in the parish of Alberbury. And it looks like it got the word king as well. So we don't know very much more about him. If that, if that was a portrait of you, I wonder what clues you would write about yourself. So, in order to make the Play-Doh today, it, so we can make our own portraits, we're doing salt free because we're going to be doing it outside. We're going to use the trunk of this tree to put it on. And salt is really dangerous for a wildlife in your garden. We have lots of squirrels in our garden and lots of birds. What else do we have in our garden? Flies. Flies. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. You know, we don't have mosquitoes, they only live in India. Mosquitoes are from India, aren't they? But we have butterflies. So we don't want them ingesting any of the salt, do we? So we're making Play-Doh that doesn't have any salt in it. It's really easy to make. All you need is a bowl. You have to pour it in, Arlo. Two cups of flour. Oh, yeah. Oh. There's one. There's the other one. Cups of flour. That's it. That's you need it. two tablespoons of oil. Oh, we've got a little bit left. Two tablespoons of oil, pop that in. Yeah. Sorry, three tablespoons of oil. And then you need a cup of boiling water. This water is not actually boiling because we've been sat here for a little while. But um, the water needs to be added. Hang on, Arlo, a second. Um, we've put food colouring in the water, so you could do that. We've put red, yellow, and blue. Do you remember what, remember what colour red, yellow? Brown. Pardon? Brown. Brown. So we're going to make a brown Play-Doh. So if you want to start mixing that, Arlo, yep. with a spoon, and you just add the water a little bit at a time. Can you see that in the camera, AJ? Yep and keep mixing it, it'd be really sticky to begin with and then you want to get it out of the bowl and knead it and keep kneading it until you lose the stickiness. And you'll end up with a ball of clay, sorry, a ball of Play-Doh that looks like that. So we'll finish that later on Arlo, let's put that aside and we'll get on with making our portrait on the tree. Yeah, there he goes. So, Arlo, do you want to see if you can find any leaves or sticks to add to our portrait? Or some little flowers? I found some little flowers, please. Okay. The right so, flowers. Um, obviously, it's some more big flowers and loads of flowers. Right. Yeah. Um, when you've made your Play Doh, you'll make more than this. This is about half the quantity. All you need to do is shape it into like an oval shape. Then, slap it onto a tree and then what you're going to do is pinch out the features and with young children it's quite nice to get them to close their eyes and have a feel of their face and see if they can feel the parts that are um, that, that protrude and then they can have a go at shaping a nose and some eyes and a mouth in the play-doh And then Arlo's gone off to look for some things to add, but just here we've got some bits that look like 
care. And what you might want to do is just add some detail on the eye. So you might want to pinch off a little bit at the bottom and make two little balls for the eyes like that. Then pinch off another little bit and make two eyelids to go over. And you could add some flowers, give you colour in the eyes. And maybe add some ears and put some earrings in. We're going to be doing this now for a little while, making some more. So enjoy and have fun. See you next time. Bye.